Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to activate a newly installed SSD or hard drive on your computer. If you've installed a new internal hard drive on your computer and it's not showing up, then I'm gonna quickly show you how to get it going. All right, now that your hard drive's installed, turn on your computer, get everything launched, and now we're gonna have to activate the SSD. By default, the SSD is not gonna show up. So if we go to this PC, you'll see whatever hard drives are already currently installed, but the new one that I installed, which should be completely free and empty, which is a two terabyte SSD, it's not showing up here under this PC. We have to go into the settings to actually activate that SSD to this computer. Now we're gonna go to the start menu and go to the search bar. Now, if you have your search bar disabled like I do, it's not gonna pop up right here. You have to right click on it and then click on search. Now here, start to type in partition. Even before finishing the word, you'll see at the top under best match, you'll see create and format hard disk partitions control panel. Click on that. Now, depending on your computer speed, this will take some time. Now you should get this pop-up that says initialize disk. Depending on how many hard drives you've installed, you'll see them listed here. Here, since we have one new one, it says disk two with a little checkbox. And then under that, it says use the following partition style for the selected disks. Use GPT. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now your new hard drive should be towards the bottom and you should see the entire bar that says unallocated. And here you can see that it's my two terabyte hard drive that has no space used. And we're gonna go ahead and click right here where it says unallocated. Now you'll see that there is a little grade box over it. Now we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to new simple volume. And then here we're gonna activate it. Go ahead and click on next. Do not adjust any of these values here. By default, it should give you the same amount of storage space that's available on your SSD. Go ahead and click on next. And then here you can assign a drive letter. So whatever you want it to be, you can go ahead and choose from the drop down menu. Because I have quite a few external hard drives that I generally connect on a consistent basis that are within the A through J range, I'm gonna just go ahead and choose Q, something further away, and then click on next. Now it is gonna give you the default file type that it recommends. I suggest keeping everything the same, but you can change your volume label. So you can change the name of this SSD. I'm just gonna call this storage. Click next, then it gives you your summary. Click finish, and then now you'll see that this black bar has now changed to blue, and then you'll get this little pop-up letting you know that your storage queue is now available and it asks if you wanna choose what happens with the removable drives. Don't mess with that. You can go ahead and X that out. Now we're gonna to go to this PC and you'll see the new SSD, your new hard drive is now set up and ready to go. So there you guys have it. That's how you activate a newly installed internal SSD or hard drive on your computer. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.